We're doing pretty good. We're loving no. cooking so much together. Sometimes. <laughs> we are going to show you how to make... What are we making? Cornbread! That's right, we're making cornbread. And this cornbread is so easy. And we're going to show you how we modified it a little bit because we don't have any more eggs. Two cups of cornmeal. Yes. Woo! Cora, can you dump this in for me? One teaspoon of salt. Metti tutto. Tutto. We're going to do one teaspoon of baking powder. And Ayla's going to show us how she scoops it and makes it flat against the edge. I had to show you how the cornmeal we're using is Farmer Ground Flour Cornmeal. It is so good, and I feel so lucky that we have a local mill it's right in our backyard and accessible to us. That's okay. And I feel great about the girls just eating it and tasting everything and trying the ingredients. It's an important part of learning how to cook. So we're going to do two teaspoons of baking powder. Can I let Cora dump this in so she can start learning? Can you let help her? Show her how to do it? Okay, Cora. Cora, let's not eat all this. Okay, too much cornmeal can cause cough. Please have some tea. Drink some tea. I'll make you more. Because we have hot water. I'll give you more in a minute. Let's get it ready, okay? Alright, quick tip. If you don't have an egg, a great ingredient to have on hand is ground flax meal. It's flax seeds ground up. If you have whole flax seeds, then you can just pop them in a coffee grinder and grind them up in that. And the reason is because not only is it excellent roughage for smoothies and whatnot, it's also a really nice nutty flavor. And on top of that, it binds things together. So I put one tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of warm water and let it sit and look. It's goopy like an egg and it'll bind our cornbread together like the egg. You can't really replace it when you need eggs to make things fluffy though. It's really just a binder. And then, melted butter. butter. I didn't have a chance to explain what our wet ingredients were other than the flax egg. We have four tablespoons of melted butter and one and a half cups of yogurt. We've arrived at the point where we're gonna mix the wet ingredients in with the dry. And make sure we get all that melted butter. Can you help? All right, these girls are going wild and crazy. So we gotta get this in the pan before we end up with everything out of the bowl and no cornbread. Last step, can both of you please put the frozen corn, we have a cup of frozen corn in the bowl. Thank you, all of it. We're gonna cook this in a 12 inch cast iron skillet and I've already melted two tablespoons of butter in here because the idea is that when you put it in, it sizzles and sears the base of the cornbread so that it's crispy underneath and it doesn't stick to the pan. So leave this on the stovetop until you're ready to put the cornbread in the pan and then in the oven. Now, no, no. okay, yes, you can each have a ball to play with here. Now we're gonna bring you over to the stovetop and pour this in the pan and put it in the oven and we'll show you what comes out. My pan is on over medium heat. And here goes the cornbread. That's it. So then you'll pull it out when it's toasted brown on top, slice it into pieces, and devour it. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how it's so important to adapt when you're cooking with kids. We lost a bunch of ingredients to their mouths on the floor. So now we're making a half moon cornbread. Cornbread's in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then we'll check on it and we'll take it out when it's toasted and brown. Here's our half moon cornbread with a nibble out of it because someone claims they were testing for doneness. And Bobby, what did you say that this cornbread was? It's super yummy. Actually verbatim, Bobby said it was the yummiest cornbread that he's ever tasted. <laughs> and that it's so yummy that it's naughty. It's naughty. And there's nothing even naughty in it. So it's a testament that you should make it. Buon appetito! Maybe a buon appetito? Buon appetito! Buon appetito! Do you like homeschool? Yeah! Yeah? Are you cool?
Do you like being with Mama all the time? Yeah! Does Mama like it? Can I have an old piece of butter? No. No. Mommy, why are we not cooking? We're about to.